In this video, we will be calculating income tax. Now, do go and have a look at my video on theory, as there can be multiple questions on this. So this video is specifically for matrix, grade 12, and I had a look at past papers when I made this video to make sure that the questions were um, common questions that they often ask. Okay, now I'm going to give you the steps. This is to determine annual income tax. Annual income tax. So these steps are going to be simple, easy, um, and if they ask you in the test to determine annual income tax, it'll be easy for you. Just note that in this case, you will be given the taxable income. If you're not given the taxable income, it's another case which I also made a video on. Okay, now let's look at our first step here. You need to be given or work out, determine the annual taxable income. Sometimes this is given, sometimes you need to determine it. When will that be? Well, when they give you the monthly salary or monthly inc uh, taxable income, then you just need to multiply it by 12. So it's not that hard as a first step. Now, the second step, this is where you go to your tax bracket, your tax bracket formula. And this would be in the table. And you just use your formula. Let me show you the example. So this is a typical tax table. And depending on your income, there's a little formula that you use on that side. So we're going to look at an example. Don't worry too much. For now, let's go back and your third step is again, uh, using the tables, you will subtract your rebates. Okay, now let me go to the table and show you the rebates. Well, there we see tax rebates. And depending on your age, you will subtract these amounts. But we'll have a, a closer look at that next. Okay, third step. Then. In our fourth step, we will subtract medical credits. So this is our basically our last step, just four easy steps. Now note that this is a big if. If I say because if uh, the person has a medical aid, if they don't have a medical aid, you can leave out the step. So yeah, it's quite easy. And then Let's change up the question a little. Now the question says they want you to determine the monthly income tax, which means how much how much tax does this person pay per month on their normal salary? And so this is basically just step five, right? You take your answer at number four, which is your it's basically the answer of your annual income tax. So since it's yearly, the way you get to monthly is by uh, is to divide by 12. How simple is that? And that would give you an answer for your monthly income tax. Okay, I wanted to make two side notes here. The first thing is age is very important. Okay, age matters. Now, you are actually in a privileged position if you are an older person. And this is a question sometimes. Why do older people get higher rebates? Or you get more rebates? Now, go and look at my video. Um, to find out what a rebate is. But anyway, it's like a subsidy from the government. Okay. And let's look at the table here. Depending on where you fall, what your age is, if you are under 65, okay, so there you are and you fall in the first, basically, well, the first category, then you only subtract 17,200. If you are between 65 and 75, so you're in the middle category, you subtract the first number, 17,000 and 9,444. So you subtract both those amounts because the government pays it for you, so you don't have to. So you're paying less tax as you get older. And finally, if you are older than 75 years, you are in the very privileged position where you can subtract all three of these amounts from your tax so that you don't have to pay such a uh, high number. Okay. So this is why age is very important when you read your question. Next, uh, the next side note that I just want to mention is on tax thresholds. 
and this is basically the minimum amount right this is a minimum minimum annual income that you need if you fall below this if you are below this this amount let me just write it then you don't have to pay tax wow and this is basically uh, another reason this is another good thing this is for uh, people who earn very little money so people who are poor or maybe you're just starting out your business or um, yeah you earn a very small salary maybe you're just starting out in your job and in this case I'll show you what it looks like but people under 65 need to earn at least 95,000 to pay tax so if you're under that amount you don't have to pay any tax and this is a nice thing that the government also does okay let's look at an example shall we now remember the steps here they are again i just want to refresh your memory here are the steps let's get a highlighter here this is what i do in tests Anne is 67 years old well and she earns a taxable income of 23,080 rand per month now she does have a medical aid and what do we need to note that it covers her and her husband So I want to write the question with you. The question here would be determine and annual income tax. So we want to know how much tax does Anne pay? Okay, let me take you back to the steps just to refresh your memory. We need the uh, annual taxable income first, then we do the tax bracket, the rebate and medical credits. Okay, let's go for it. Step one, since we only have the uh, the monthly amount we need to determine the annual amount so what does she get in per, uh, per year and this is then the annual taxable income it's best to write down everything just because all these terms can be so confusing okay so if it's 23,080 per month we're just going to multiply that by 12 and get the annual amount and that's going to be just put that in your calculator, 276,960. Okay, our second step, for our second step, we need to go look at our tax bracket formula. Let me write it down, but we're going to have to go to the table. Okay, now remember this amount, because every answer that you get will just move on to the next steps. So remember this amount, 276. Let's go and see on the tax table, where is that amount? 276,000. Oh, wow. It's in the second tax bracket between 370 and 237,000. So, let me get my highlighter. Here is the tax bracket formula that I'm going to use. Let me copy and paste that. Okay, there we go. So, I'm going to use this formula. Okay. Now... Don't let it scare you. It's not that hard. What we need to do is you start with the first amount they give, 46,678, just like that, copy and paste, plus 26%. I'm going to write it as a fraction on my calculator because it works better for me. Of the amount, okay, so put in your bracket, of the amount, what was the amount from the previous question? 276960. Above 237, which means that amount minus two three seven one hundred okay let me just slow that down uh, to 0 0.5 speed so her annual amount is two hundred seventy six thousand that amount gets plugged in in the formula where it says amount and then you say that amount minus this two three seven where do we get this from well we have to use it it's from the tax table okay so that's always going to be given but the number in yellow will differ, or the number, yeah, the number in yellow will differ depending on what your previous step gave you. Okay, now the answer I get here is uh, 53,041, 6. Now remember, since it's money, there will be two decimals, okay, for the cents. So just check when you round off. Okay, next, our third step requires me to go and subtract the rebates 
Okay, so I use my answer. I always use the answer from my previous step. I'm just copying that, just like that, 53,000 minus. Now, let's go and look at the amount that we have to subtract. Remember that Anne is 67 years old. I go to my table. Primary, okay, no, 67, yeah. So Anne falls in the second category, which means I have to subtract the first rebate, the primary, and the secondary rebate. Now, remember these numbers, 17,000, 9,000. So I'm going to subtract the primary rebate and the secondary rebate. Okay. Why? Because she falls in the second category, her age. Okay. The primary rebate from the table, 17, 235. Yes. And the secondary, 9444. Four, four. And I get my answer, quick and easy. The answer here, 26,000. 362 and once again the calculator just says 6 but that 6 will become 60 because I have to round off to two decimals okay last step medical aid question um, so the question here is does she have medical aid and yeah she does it says that she has for her and her husband so it's important to see how many people are on your medical aid let's go to the um, medical tax credits and remember this is the only amount in your table that is monthly so uh, unfortunately it's an extra little step it's quite sneaky where you have to multiply the amount by 12 because then you get the annual or the yearly amount right okay just remember that from your table now do note that sometimes these tables are different depending on your test they could even they might not even be in a table okay so what we see here is that she is the principal member, that's the, that's the person who has the medical aid, and she has a husband on it, so he becomes the first dependent. Now, if she had children or other people on the medical aid, each of them would uh, get this much as medical credit. But in this case, let me not confuse you too much, she only has um, herself and her husband. So, the amounts here are 364 for both of them. So, firstly, 364. I'm going to uh, add that, 364 for the wives, 364 for the husband, and then I need to multiply my answer by 12, just to find out, oh, sorry, multiply by 12, just to find out what is the annual medical credits. So because they have a medical aid, they now pay less tax, okay? So there's a little amount that gets deducted. It's like credit for them. That's why we call it medical credits. Now, the answer that I get here is, let me just see, 8736, 8,000 Rand in credits that they get. What does that mean? I still have to subtract, okay? I still have to subtract that amount. From what? From my previous answer in step 3 that says 26,362,60. And then I say minus now the medical credits, 8,736, and you get an answer of, let me just write this down, 17,626,60. And also note that they simply asked us to determine uh, the annual income tax, right? Simple and easy. If they were to say, um, if they were to say, determine the monthly, let me just write that. If they were to ask, determine Anne's monthly uh, income tax, it would be that last step number five, where we take the annual amount, which is 17,000, it's here at the end. We take that annual amount, 626, mm, and simply divide it by 12 to get her monthly uh, tax. And this you would see is 1,468 rand. And once again, when you round this off, I think in the calculator it says 8,8, 8, but I'm rounding off to 8,9. Okay, so she pays around 1,400 rand tax, on a salary of 23,000. And think about that, does that make sense? It was great being able to chat to you guys. Please share, like, subscribe, and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.